Quintino Siga and his children do what they have done for many years. They gather what are called cashew apples, on which the cashew nut grows. It's not the season, so every apple on the ground counts. This is their lifeline. After collection, women in Siga's home extract the cashew nut from the apple. The children delicately crack open the pod, making sure that the cashew nut inside does not break. And when all is done, Siga sells his produce to middlemen at a cost that is hardly enough for his family's basic needs. It's difficult when the cashew nut is out of season. When you don't have stock to sell, we borrow from neighbors. Guinea-Bissau is the second largest cashew nut producer in Africa after Mozambique. It exports roughly 150 million tons annually and makes about $60 million. But the farmers are still too poor. Most of the farmers here cannot access the export market, so they sell their cashew nuts at lower prices in markets such as this one. Unregulated local prices make it even harder for them to make a profit. At the moment, the government is trying to do a feasibility study of how to regulate the prices so that everyone, including the farmers, can benefit. The struggling economy is almost entirely dependent on its cashew nut industry. Yet the country is also rich with minerals and an array of exotic islands popular with tourists. You know, how do you run a state? How do you provide services to, to your people with an economy that mostly lives on taxation of cashew nut? So there has to be a, a significant effort to, to develop the economic base of the country and to develop the budgetary base of the state as well. But in the meantime, Siga continues with his modest business, oblivious of the fact that what he sells costs so much more from supermarket shelves in countries so far away from his village. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Bissau.